Next up, let's get the new to-do form to work. So we're going to make a new component. And let's just call it to do form.js. Or actually, let's do new to do form because in this case, we're still only going to have one form component, but there's going to be an edit form somewhere. It's going to be in the to do component. But just for clarity, we'll do new to do form. Okay, so here's my basic structure. We know there's going to be a form in there. And it's actually a very simple form because there's really only one input that we need. So that input is going to be type set to text. And we're going to have this, let's do a placeholder here for um, new to do or something like that, new task. Let's also do a label that just says new to do. And then we need to set the HTML for, and let's just call it task. So this input needs to have an ID also set to task. And now we need to make this a controlled input, which means we need to have some state involved. So I'm gonna make my constructor once again, super props. Even though we're not using props in the constructor, we could just do super. I know I say that all the time, but I just wanna make that clear. And we'll initialize our state. And all we really need for now is task, which is going to be an empty string. And we'll use this, this.state.task, for the value of this input, this.state.task. Next, let's add in the on change. So on change equals this dot, our good friend handle change. So let's define handle change. Handle change is going to take the event object. And inside of here, we're doing a this dot set state. Same thing we've seen every time we've made a react form or almost every time we're going to use a computed property. What we want is event dot target dot name. And we're going to set that to event dot target dot value. And before we forget, let's make sure we bind it. This dot handle change equals this dot handle change dot bind this. Okay, so sort of a trick question here. Right now, if I add my new to do list or new to do form, which I've already imported, if I render one, what do you think will happen as I type? So new to do form, what will be updated in our state given the state of our component right now, given the condition that it's in? Well, I'm actually missing one really important piece. I'm using event.target.name, but currently I don't have a name on the input. So it's going to be an empty string that it's setting. So inside of our state, as I type here, if I go to the dev tools and click on the form, watch the state here. As I type, it has a property, empty string is set to the letter A. So every time I update this, we're changing empty string. That's not what we want. So back over here, we need to make sure we add in name and set it to task. And that, once again, has to match exactly what we're using in the state. So now if I come to the dev tools and I select new to do form, we look at the state as I type, you can see that it's updated here. All right, so that's done. Now we need to make sure this form actually creates a new to do. So we're going to add an on submit into here. And we also need to make sure we have a button. So let's call this uh, this dot handle submit, which does not exist. And while we're here, let's add a button. So inside the form after the input, we'll do a button, just add to do. Okay, so that should call handle submit when you click the button. Right now we don't have that defined. So let's do that now. Handle submit takes an event. And the first thing I'll do is call event dot prevent default. And then what we're going to do is call some method that's been passed down that will actually create the to-do. So we need to go back to our to-do list and add a method called create. So create is going to take a, let's call it new to-do object, and it's just going to add it into the to-dos in state. So this dot set state, and we'll just do to-dos is equal to an array that takes all the existing this dot state dot to-dos and then adds in new to do. Okay, and then of course we need to make sure that we bind create. So this dot create equals this dot create dot bind. This it gets a little tiresome. And then we're going to pass that create method down to our form right here. And what do we wanna call it? Let's call it create to do equals this dot create. So now we have this method inside of our new to do form called create to do as a prop. 
and we'll call it instead of handle submit. So this.props.create to do. And what are we going to pass in? Well, this.state, because that's the object we, we care about. We just want task. And it's already in an object for us, so just pass in this.state. And then the last thing that we like to do is clear this.state. So we'll do this.set state. And we're going to set task to be an empty string again, just so that the form no longer displays the information that was in there. Now, it's highly possible we have a problem. I can already see one. We're not binding handle submit. So this dot handle submit equals this dot handle submit dot bind. Okay. There's still a high possibility we have a problem. Let's see if it works. So we're going to type something in here. Let's say bathe cat add to do. Okay. It's working. It's been added to the state and our form is being cleared. All right. So that's the to do form. Next, in the next video, we'll work on removing to-dos, working with IDs, that sort of thing.